Oh, oh my God. There's, there's a chin strap. Oh, that might be a code red. Okay. Y'all didn't know this, but you're about to watch my audition tape for the Paralympic gymnastics team. Because today we are trying a soft bonnet hair dryer attachment. That's right, people. We are going to look as fabulous as that woman, I hope. Here's hoping for the best. Full disclosure, I have a type of motor neuron disease, so my body does not move like your typical person. That being said, I'm gonna spend about 40% of this video bent over the back of a folding chair, because you gotta do what you gotta do. This smells like an inflatable swimming pool. Oh yeah. Let me let me look for some instructions. QR code to unlock our complimentary user manual. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are on my cell phone. So, um, what about we fake it till we make it? Okay, pretty sure you put this around your forehead area. But let's see if I can even get this on myself. Now that we are dodging bullets in the matrix, I'll give a brief description. So this chair helps me be able to reach my head by using gravity as an aid. Apparently I have a massive head. Well, that was successful. Mission impossible. Complete. All right, now, now we gotta put on our hood, bonnet, whatever we're gonna call it. How do I, Ooh. Okay, we're gonna get a close up here. This is the, um, the cincher. And let me just, full disclosure, um, my pinching skills, not my best. Hey, just gotta acknowledge your weaknesses so you can find ways around it. So let's put the Venus fly trap on my head. Oh, oh, oh my God. There's, there's a chin strap. Oh, that might be a code red. Okay. Yeah. We'll cross that road when we get there. All right, now we gotta figure out how to put my hair in here. I watched a few videos from other people who've tried a blow dryer bonnet and their process was way easier where I was like, oh, what a great product. However, the combination of my extremely long hair length and my limited range of motion in my shoulders was not the magic combination for this product. This is taking a little bit of thinking. I'm glad that I filmed this process because now I definitively know how inefficient this is compared to just letting my hair air dry. Would I use this again? Probably not. But you know what? It was fun trying. I f***ing did it. Oh my god. This isn't terrible. People think we're, we're in the home stretch. Oh my god. Okay, let me. Well, we're going chin strap hunting. This was harder than I thought it was gonna be, but you know what? I did it, committed, and we got that chin strap out. Okay, so going back to my comments, on 
my pinching abilities. This chin strap might be the hardest part yet. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on underneath my chin at this moment. It was just a free for all. Oh my god, I think it's the wrong side. <gasps> God bless. Okay, so now that the bonnet is secured to my head and strapped on, it is below dry time. Now this says it'll fit most blow dryers. Let's see if Hot Tools fits in that category. minutes of this bonnet did. My hair only dried like 20%, 30% in the 30 minutes that it was in the hood. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired. So it is now the next day. Hello. I accidentally forgot to record what the Mane looked like in the morning, but you know, it wasn't bad. One difference I noticed was that it was fully dry when I, when I woke up. I'm not totally sold on the bonnet because as you all saw, it was quite the ordeal. It took about 15 minutes for me to get into it and then 30 minutes of drying and it only dried my hair like 30%, 20-30%. For me, I would rate it like a five out of 10. Five because I was actually able to get it on after a while. And I think if I used it longer, it would fully dry my hair. And I did like that my hair was dry in the morning when I finished the air drying process. That being said, um, I'm just not a big fan. I know people who have more coily hair textures, really like these kinds of things, and people with shorter hair, because I think if I had shorter hair, I would love this, because of the efficiency. So, it might be great for you if you're looking for a option for drying your hair in a different way, you have shorter hair, or different curl patterns. You might really love it. For me, not a fan, but yeah, it was, it was interesting trying it. Definitely not handicap accessible, but you know what? I don't think that was the target audience. So, <laughs> hope y'all are having a good one. Uh, let me know if you have any product ideas for me to try. I'm down to try anything that might streamline my getting ready process. So, ta-ta.